Hello, Namaste, Konnichiwa. Welcome to Sunny Sensei. In this lesson, we'll be learning about projectile motion. Imagine this: you kick a ball, it goes up, reaches a certain height, and then falls back to the ground. This is projectile motion, and it happens in two directions: horizontally along the x-axis, and vertically along the y-axis. In this example, the ball is the projectile. The angle it makes with the ground, angle theta, is the angle of projection. The path taken by the ball is the trajectory. The maximum height the ball reaches is h, and the horizontal distance it travels is the range r. Let me also mark. A few key points on the trajectory: the starting point O, the highest point M, and the landing point P. Let's add two more points: A on the way up, and B on the way down. We will now take a closer look at the velocity. Velocity is the key to understanding projectile motion. The initial velocity. Of the projectile is u. The projectile is launched at an angle theta, so we split the velocity into two parts. U cos theta in the x direction, u sin theta in the y direction. Let's start with the horizontal direction. For any point on the trajectory, the velocity v. Is u plus a t. In the x direction, initial velocity u x is u cos theta, and the acceleration a x is zero. There is no acceleration in the horizontal direction, so v x is u cos theta. The horizontal velocity. Is constant as we move along the path from O to A, going up to M, and then down to point B, and finally to P. The horizontal velocity stays the same, always u cos theta. Now moving to the vertical direction. Again, the velocity v is u plus a t. Here, the initial velocity, u y, is u sine theta, and the acceleration is minus g. G is the acceleration due to gravity. It is negative because we have assumed the upward direction as positive. So, the vertical velocity is u sine theta minus g t. This vertical component keeps changing. It decreases as the projectile rises from O to A, becomes zero at the highest point M, and increases again in the downward direction as it moves to point B, and finally reaches the ground at point P. Remember, v x is constant, and v y. Keeps changing as the projectile moves along the trajectory. Now, the projectile's velocity v at any point is found by adding the horizontal and the vertical components, v x and v y. The magnitude of this velocity v is square root of v x square. Plus v y square, or now to find the direction of velocity vector, we assume it makes an angle phi with the horizontal. This angle phi gives us the direction of instantaneous velocity. Tan of phi is v y over v x. 
और u sin थीटा माइनस जी टी ओवर u cos थीटा With this, we have completed our discussion on velocity of a projectile. Before we wrap up, here is a quick question for you. For a projectile thrown at an angle theta, which of the following quantities remains constant during its flight? The vertical velocity, the horizontal velocity, the acceleration, or both horizontal velocity and acceleration? The correct answer is both horizontal velocity and acceleration. Remember, the horizontal velocity stays constant at u cos theta, and the acceleration due to gravity minus g is also constant throughout the projectile's motion. In the next lesson, we will use these fundamental concepts to derive the equation of the projectile path. If you enjoyed this lesson don't forget to like share and subscribe to Sunny Sansai thank you and see you again soon